Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's continue. Let's first shuffle the deck four times for you. I want to start with what went wrong in the past. What were the challenges? A person that was not being quite focused here. They were keeping their options open, at least in their mind. And the, and the connection that was not mutual, it was not harmonious. The justice here is in the position of the challenge. There was no mutual love and respect. That's what I'm getting. No mutual love and respect. What is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of? Lots of this waiting period, especially after that breakup. Uh, it is hurting you again, the fact that there's a lack of progress or things are not moving forward faster. And that painful memory that is still there that makes you feel sad when you think about it. Now let's see about the current energies. You feel devastated by that ending. You're trying to rebuild yourself, trying to focus at work as well, to put work and dedication into something you love or into your career. You want to be logical as well. You don't want to make mistakes again, but you think about that ending a lot, an ending that caused much pain. Now let's see about how do you view this situation. You see hesitation, you don't see uh, a reconnection immediately. You think it may happen, but from your perspective, they may feel unsure. You are unsure as well. Now, should you choose a better new connection? Should you focus on a new partner? Uh, you are not sure about that. Those are the questions that you are getting. And also you think they are contemplating the same. You feel indecisive. They seem indecisive as well. Now let's see more details. You want to avoid being in a connection where there's a lack of commitment or difficulty into planting that, that seed of commitment, where there's a lack of friendship as well. Uh, where there is a lack of maturity and responsibility. Your hope is to open up the communication, but you have this fear that if the communication was opened, new data, new facts would come to light. Maybe some secrets would be revealed or you'd connect the dots uh, in a different way that may make you feel uh, a bit discouraged. Now let's see about them. What are their energies towards you at this moment? Let's see. Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Death card. Three of Wands. Uh, Knight of Cups. Yes, this person is uh, is really hesitant. Now, if it was just for them, they would uh, not be quite optimistic. In fact. They believe the connection may have ended and it cannot be restarted. That it is completely broken, that it, it does not have potential for stability long term, but still they are choosing to wait, even though they see that ending. They are choosing to wait because they want to hope that you will do something. That either you will change your mind or that Time will heal the situation and things will progress for the better. They are looking forward for this Knight of Cups, for this message of love being exchanged, but I'm not getting them making that move. Maybe they were the partner that did something wrong and they know that whatever they did, it completely ended their chances for a comeback. So I will continue now this reading with more details in the extended. I want to cover what kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you from the outside? What are their intentions for now? What about the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. 
or if you're watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title. The description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.